Greetings. This video is about Google's new Music Beta service. Music Beta is a way to listen to your music nearly anywhere that you have an internet connection. The way it works is that you take your music that you have on your computer and you upload it all to Google. Once you've done that, then you can listen to that music on another computer or an Android device like a phone or tablet. Currently, Music Beta is available by invite only, and people that are in the beta can't invite others. So if you want to invite, head on over to music.google.com and sign up for one. Once you get your invite, setting up Music Beta is actually pretty easy. You head over to that same site, music.google.com, accept the terms of service and privacy policy, and then you get free music. There's actually a lot of recognizable artists, but a lot of it's live tracks and non-hits. But hey, what do you want for free? It's just meant to help you try out the service. When picking the genres for free music, make sure to select any that you even remotely like. From what I've seen, there's no way to go back and pick ones that you have second thoughts about. You get a lot of music for each genre. I only selected three or four, and I got over a hundred tracks. So I can only imagine what happens if you select them all. Lastly, as far as setup goes, you download the Google Music Manager. The Music Manager is the only way you could upload music into Music Beta. There's no way to upload from the website. Music Manager is currently available for Windows and Mac. There's no Linux version. I did try running the installer for Music Manager on Wine, but I got an unable to connect to internet error. So if you get it working, please let me know in the comments. The program itself is pretty basic. All you need to do is select where you want it to upload from. You could select your iTunes or Windows Media Player library if you have those installed. You could use the My Music folder that Windows has. Or you could specify your own folder if you want. As far as music formats go, Music Beta currently supports MP3, AAC, WMA, and FLAC formats. Sorry, Real Media. On the Advanced tab, you can specify how fast and how often the program uploads among other things. An interesting fact, the service doesn't limit you by storage. Instead, it limits you by songs. There's a 20,000 song limit. This is a really good thing if you have really high quality versions of your songs. If you want to listen to your music, you can click on the Go to Music button on the bottom left. This will open up the Music Beta website. It'll even log you into your Google account if you're not already logged in. The music player on the website is pretty standard. You have your player controls like play, pause, next track, previous track, etc. You can look at your songs by song title, artist, album, or genre. Since this is made by Google, there's no surprise that this has a really good search box. If you want to jump to a certain song, artist, album, or genre, just type it in and it'll pop right up. You also get thumbs up and thumbs down buttons. I understand why you'd want a thumbs up button, kind of, you know, best of the best kind of thing but I don't get why you'd want a thumbs down button. I mean, if you don't like a track, why is it in your collection in the first place? And of course, you can make playlists for your songs. Kinda on that same topic, the last feature of the web player I wanna talk about is what's called Instant Mix. This tries to make a playlist based on a song. I haven't been able to use it yet, but to make an Instant Mix, you click the plus next to where it says Instant Mixes while you're playing a song. Or you can click the very right side of a song title and select Make Instant Mix. Now it's time to talk about listening on an Android device. To listen on Android, you'll need to get the music app from the Android market. The app requires Android 2.2 or greater, which should be no problem for most of you. The app will still work as a regular music player even if you don't have music beta yet. And it's a pretty nice looking app. If you do have music beta, you can go to Settings and then Google Account and then you pick your account. Once you do that, then all the songs from Music Beta will appear in addition to any songs you may have already had on the device. Now keep in mind, if you're streaming a lot of music on a mobile internet connection like 3G or 4G, it can eat up a lot of data. So make sure you have a good data plan. An unlimited plan is preferred. The last feature of the app I want to talk about is what's called pinning. Let's say you know that you're not going to have an internet connection for a while, but you still want to be able to listen to certain songs. You can pin these songs so that they're downloaded to your device, and then you can listen to them without having to have an internet connection. Automatically, the most recent songs you listen to using Music Beta are temporarily pinned. To pin music yourself, you need to be in either the Artist tab or the Albums tab. From there, just hit the down arrow next to an artist or an album. 
On the dialog that pops up, check the box that says Available Offline. For some reason, you can't pin individual songs. I don't know if that's the way they meant it, or if it's just an oversight. I certainly hope it's an oversight. So to wrap up, I really like this service. I think it's got a lot of promise, and I hope Google does some good stuff with it. It's got beta in the name, so I'm sure that this isn't going to be the final version. I'm sure we're going to see lots of improvements. I have heard that it's taken a long time for people with large music collections to upload all their music. I haven't really uploaded all that much music, so I don't know this firsthand. Residential internet connections aren't known for their great upload speeds, so this is probably the problem. I know some people were disappointed with the fact that there's no music store to go with this. While I do think that would be more convenient, I'm fine with that. Maybe they'll add one once it comes out of beta. That's really all I got on Music Beta. If you get in, let me know what you think in the comments.